What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cracker, which is comics, reviews, awesome movie, comedy, and anything else I think kicks ass. This is episode 29, and we're going to do things a little differently around here on this episode. Um, yes, I've technically lost my mind. Actually, I don't think I ever had it to begin with. I think I lent it out. Anyway, um, as you can see, there's no intro in this episode. There's a reason for that. I always have reasons. Well, mostly, but let's not get into that. Um... And that is because I didn't want to have to edit this episode, I didn't want to have to have my balls busted by YouTube or Facebook about having content, and so on and so forth. Even though the intro kicks ass, it does. Uh, it'll come back around eventually, but this episode, like I said, it, it's very it, it, it's very important to me, and I don't want to have it all chopped up and anything. And I know you're thinking what, how important can this episode be, what could possibly be in this episode that's important. Well, let me tell you. This episode, the, the contents in it are more important to me than any comic book, video game, DVD, martial art weapon, anything than in the world. Um, I don't know what you're saying. What, what could possibly be that? And that is my friends and family. Well, more family than friends. No offense to my friends, but I've known my family longer. So, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I know you're thinking, too. The show is about reviews and stuff like that. Well, technically, you really can't review your family. I mean, you kind of can, but that... Only if you have a therapist with you. I think that's how it works. But um, it's also more of a dedication, I guess, to friends and family and just how proud I am to be a part of their lives and how proud I hope they are of me being a part of their lives. Because uh, hopefully, maybe one day, hopefully soon they'll watch this or back in the, you know, 30, 40 years from now, you find this, you know, dust it off and say, hey, that was my cousin or, you know, that was my nephew or, you know, so on and so forth. So it's a little bit towards me too. Yeah, you can get a little insight on me because I'm the star, damn it. I'm the star. Um, but moving on, moving on. Uh, as the dedication would be, uh, there is going to be a little bit of a dedication here, not to just my family, but uh, also one in particular. And I uh, hope my family doesn't get entirely pissed off because they're going to be like, oh my God, what'd you do, you son of a bitch? What kind of photos are you going to put up and what kind of info are you going to spill to people? Um, nothing evil, I promise. There's nothing really embarrassing in here. Uh, or is there? <laughs> No, it's not. Um, at least I don't think. At least the embarrassing photos are towards me, anyway. Uh, but moving on, moving on. Uh, my family and their whole are, are, are great people. My friends are, are, are very, very cool, a lot of fun. Um, there's nothing, like I said, I feel that is more important than your fan, family and friends because family, especially, they, they always have your back. They're family. I mean, that's the way it works, in theory. <laughs> Friends, too. If you have really cool, close friends, then you know they have your back no matter what happens. Uh, whether you're rich, poor, or, you know, whatever. If you're getting kicked out of your house and you got nowhere to go and your friend says, Hey, sleep on my floor. You know, stuff like that. But, um, like I said, dedications. Um, not that this person is more important than anyone else in my family or friends. It just, uh, I just found amazing stuff about it. About him. It, sorry. Uh, about him that I just thought was very interesting and very cool. Um, I will tell you a lot of stuff about my family. Like I said, nothing too evil. But um, the first person in my family, like I said, this is a dedication towards too, because I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm proud of my entire family. I'm also proud of him and give you little things. Um, is my Uncle Kenny. Uh, people, like I said, I, I knew he was famous. I had no idea how famous he was until until recently. I had to actually do research on my own uncle. Hey, um, anyway, my Uncle Kenny who anyone who was around in the, the 50s and 60s and 70s and so on and so forth and loved music, especially back in that particular era, knows him as Kenny Dino. Uh, the funny thing is, obviously it's not his real last name, it's his stage name. Um, the funny thing is, when you look him up and they actually tell you his real name, for some reason on the where they explain the real name, I'm not going to go into it because, uh, like I said, my family kicked my ass. But, um... They never seem to get our last name right. Uh, it's never spelled correctly. It's never said correctly. It's just, I guess it's just odd. But anyway, uh, moving on to some lovely info that I found about my uncle. But before I tell you the info, I will show you a photo. Like I said, I hope my family doesn't get completely pissed off. But this is a lot of love and, and respect and everything. So, uh, and I just thought it would be a cool episode to, to do. Uh, this is my uncle's wedding. Um, unfortunately, uh, like I said, I, I'm not very good with, uh, I don't have great lighting. So I'm going to try to zoom in on him, no offense to my family again, but this is about him on this particular section. And I uh, get pretty close, let's see if I can actually do better light on that, let's see. Uh, not too great, flashlights don't always work, but there you see him. Uh, anyway, moving on, moving on. 
My Uncle Kenny. Uh, try to go over a little bit of things right here. I'm trying to keep it steady. Uh, this is my father right here. My mother, my Uncle Ray, my Aunt Sue, Cousin Debbie, my Cousin Ray, my Grandma. That's a priest all the way over here. Don't know who he is. Uncle Kenny, obviously. My Aunt Sue, my Aunt Irene, my Uncle Jimmy. Uh, let's move it over there. That is my Aunt B, my Uncle Joe, my Cousin Joe. Down there is my Cousin Jimmy, my Cousin Lori. Down there is my Cousin Danny, my Cousin Donna, and my grandmother over here. Over hell. <laughs> but anyway, that is a, a, a nutshell of uh, my aunts and uncles, who, like I said, I'm always very proud of. Um, my uncle, obviously, he was a singer. I'll give you a little info on him. I, like I said, did some research, things I didn't know. It's amazing what you can look up on the internet. It truly is. Uh, in 2007, he had a, a, a CD come out called Working On My Dreams. That was his latest, and I think I think it was his last one. And I, I don't know, because unfortunately, my uncle passed away in December of 2009. Uh, it sucks. Yeah, but that it, it happens. I mean, try not to get emotional, so I'm not going to... It's going to look like I'm evil, but I'm really not. I, I cared about my uncle a lot. I care about my whole family, but I'm going to try to keep it from getting emotional. Uh, like I said, dedications. Um, he had a huge hit, apparently. Uh, it was The name of the song was Your Ma Said You Didn't You Cried in Your Sleep Last Night, which uh, was number 24 in the top 100 back in 1961. Very cool. Very cool. Something to be uh, proud of. You know, people acknowledge your work. Uh, my uncle was in the Navy. Didn't know that. Like I said, you can look stuff up. Uh, apparently my el my my el <laughs> my uncle knew Elvis very cool apparently he did a lot of demos for Elvis interesting uh, from what I read Robert Plant who was from Led Zeppelin and Elton John they actually were influenced by my uncle's work very cool and Robert Plant apparently in 1990 did a cover of my uncle's song uh, very cool indeed again uh, apparently my uncle was originally signed to a, a record company called Dot which I don't remember. No offense to Dot, but uh, then he got signed by Columbia. Very cool. Like I said, very interesting things. Uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a ticket uh, from one of my uncle's concerts. You see Kenny Dino. He did a tribute to Roy Orbison, and as you can see, my seat was reserved. Damn right, it's reserved because I'm family. I get the reserved seats. Um, that was the second time I've actually seen my uncle perform. Uh, my uncle, he did sing at my cousin Jimmy's wedding, which was very cool. I don't have it on video, but I'm sure my, my cousin Sharon has it and stuff like that. But um, I was impressed. Like I like I said, I knew he could sing. I knew I knew he was. I mean, my my father always said he was. You know, your uncle's famous and blah blah blah. And I never really kind of got it because he was my uncle, so I didn't see anything other than my uncle. Um, and then like I said, then I saw him. You know, he he gave me a ticket to go see him, uh, which was cool in '97. Uh, odd things, like I said, the, like, not just the dedication for him, but, um, things in general. I know people are going to say, watch this, and if you're a fan of my uncle, they're like, oh, do you have anything, you know, cool, like, you know, his autograph, stuff like that. Now, there's a funny story on, on that. Like I said, I'm going to try to get into some, some cool stuff on here. Um, because he was my uncle, it was, he, when I found out that he was famous, like, the, what, the first thing you do when you find out anyone is famous, you want to run and get their autograph. Oh, my God, I want their autograph. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Um, and I used to bug my uncle constantly for his autograph because it was cool. My, my, uncle, my uncle was famous, like I said. I had no idea how famous he was because I wasn't around back then. But um, I always, you know, my uncle's my uncle's famous. You know, yeah. uh, but his his reaction and always the same thing was, why would I give you my autograph? He's like, I'm your uncle. You're my nephew. Um, I'm always gonna be around. I'm always gonna be your uncle. Why would you want my autograph? You know, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm you know. Physically here, so um, he made a valid point. So, unfortunately, I do not have an autograph from my uncle, so uh, no really need to ask. Um, but I have something better. I have all the photos and and the fact that he was my uncle all up here and in here, which is uh, more important than a little signature on a piece of paper. Um, another fun thing is, uh, like I said, my my family, my aunt always used to have uh, huge huge parties for the holidays. Um, very very cool and. My Uncle Kenny was like a ninja. He would just, you'd never know when he was going to show up. And when he did, it was very secretive. He always had his dark glasses on, his shades. And he would come in and you would never even knew when he actually showed up. He would just, one second he wasn't there, and the next second you turn around and he's eating something. I'm like, where'd you get here? I've been here. Where you been? <laughs> you know? um, I don't know if it was, if it's that's like a, a trait, because when you're famous, you're always trying to hide. I don't know, but uh, 
it was always funny. And going into that, there was my, my Aunt B and my Uncle Rudy. Like, if she watches this, probably gonna, really, she's going to kick my ass. But, um, like I said, I do this out of love. Uh, my Aunt B was, an, was and is an awesome cook. Her food always kicked ass, uh, especially her meatballs and her lasagna. You know, it's my Italian side. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, unfortunately, like I said, that the last the last time I've, I've seen my family all together in a happy setting was uh, in 99. Uh, that was the last time I saw my Uncle Kenny, too, was uh, back in 99. Uh, he moved to Florida, which I knew, and like I said, he passed away in Florida, and it sucks. I I I wasn't able to go to his funeral because you know obviously he was in Florida, and I'm uh, I'm not rich, so like I can't you know just come and go as I please. Um, but apparently on YouTube there are fans of my uncle, like I said, and there's a uh, actual memorial service that somebody put up. So I, I thank I thank the person on there because uh, I got the, a chance to see it. Um. But moving on, moving on, the rest of my family. Uh, my cousin Jimmy, who uh, was in this in the photo as, as a little kid. Um, I do have a lot of photos of him, uh, but I just haven't really gone through everything. I got so many stacks, and that was the other reason I wanted to do the video. It was almost like kind of a reminder to, to actually fix my uh, my photos and get them all together in an album and stuff like that. Uh, but my cousin Jimmy, he was in the Air Force. Very proud of him. He was always a cool guy. Everybody loved him. He was the, the party animal. Everybody knew my cousin Jimmy. If, I mean, if you were you know, on Long Island, you knew him. Uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he passed away back in 2002. Uh, like I said, it sucks. A lot of my family is, is gone now because of uh, crappy diseases that suck. Or, you know, just... Uh, I'm not really going to say old age because, unfortunately, my family... Uh, most of the time, it's just it's all, you know, bad diseases that pop around. And sucks ass, but, you know, there's nothing I can do. I mean... No one can be able to live forever. You're not immortal, but maybe with this, somewhat of an immortal. Uh, moving on, moving on. Like I said, trying to get everything, uh, family and friends and stuff like that. And again, I don't want my whole family to kick my ass too bad. But uh, moving on to uh, another family member of mine, my grandpa. Again, if he wasn't around, I wouldn't be here. Uh, this is a picture of him in the war. Uh, I believe he was in World War One and Two. I know, I know he was in two for sure. Because I'll show you that in a second. But uh, here's uh, another little group photo of him. <laughs> but you ask, how do I know he was in the war? Uh, obviously because he was old. <laughs> but he brought this back from the war, which I kind of framed a little bit. As you can see, 1945, this is when the war was over. Uh, obviously it's peace and there's a little piece of a Japanese newspaper that he took back. Um, I'm not... Please, I'm not trying to like propaganda the war and say oh, war was awesome. Cause war is definitely never awesome. War is just retarded. But um, this is actually uh, quite a few newspapers in here. It's kind of bundled together because it's it really is shot to shit. Uh, I guess back in the day, when my grandfather sent it back or you know came back with it, obviously he didn't think it was really important, but it was important enough to to keep it to the side. Um, I actually found it when I moved. I found it. I was like, wow, I was like, that's that's pretty cool. You know, I have a, a piece of history. Um, if it was in better shape, yeah, it probably would be worth money, but that's not really important to me. It's the fact that my grandfather brought it back. It's It was his. You know, he survived the war. You know, there's there's obviously this proof because I'm sitting right here. Um, but anyway, this is, it, it's a nice little piece of history that I have from him, which is very cool. That um, I didn't really know my grandfather too well because he passed away when I was a little kid. Uh, you know, just a little baby, so I, I, you know, I do remember some things, which is, some people say it's odd, like, how do you remember your grandpa, because obviously it was such a long time ago, but I, I get images from time to time, it's weird. Um, he also brought this back from Japan, apparently, back in, from the war, it was like a little pop gun kind of thing. It actually still works, the trigger pulls back, like so, and then you, uh, just shoot it, and, um, it's like a little, little gun, a little toy. Um, is it worth money? I have no idea. Is it cool? Yes, because you brought it back. Um, it's just amazing that the damn thing still works. <laughs> moving on, moving on to more family members. Um, but before I even get to family members, let's go into family pets. Because pets do count as family. Uh, here is my old dog, Buddy, and my rabbit, Flop. This was back when I was a kid. Obviously, the reason I called him Flop was Flop Years. Yes, I, uh, thought real hard about that. Um... <laughs> This is myself and my cat Stinker, who actually looks like the Mo from the Three Stooges, I guess, with that fur. 
Um, everyone loves this pick for some strange reason. They say it's cute. Uh, yes, I was a cute kid. I have no idea what happened. Um, why did I call him Stinker? I'll let you all figure that out. Um, if you have a pet, especially a dog or, or, or a cat, and they, uh, they like to fart, and uh, it's usually pretty bad, but I've never smoked anything like this cat used to lay down. Um, some, some nasty stuff. Uh, so that's where he got his name. Uh, moving on, this is my dog Smoke, who was an awesome, awesome dog. He was German Shepherd. He uh, protected me like no other. Uh, it was nuts. If anyone even lifted a finger towards me, that dog would kick your ass. Um, this is a cat. I uh, I really can't remember the name of the cat. It was obviously I was a little kid. And I I just don't remember. But it's funny because when you look at this photo, for some strange reason, obviously I'm looking towards the the right. But I want to sing the song Soft Kitty, and I don't know why. Um, Moving on, moving on. Like I said, dedication uh, kind of thing. Uh, let's see. What else can I embarrass the hell out of my friends and family with? Um, I guess we'll go on to, let's see, looking through the photos here. Uh, let's move on to, oh, I don't know. I guess we'll go with my parents because, uh, again, if they weren't around, then, then I wouldn't be here myself. But uh, here's a little picture of baby me, my Aunt Irene, my grandma, and my dad. And there it is again, little baby me. Like I said, I was a cute kid. Don't know what happened. Uh, picture my mom and dad that I took. My first official photo. Yes. Not that great of a photo that I took. But um, what can I tell you? I was a little kid. There's a uh, little me again with my dad. Here's where my, apparently I got part of my sense of humor from. My dad wearing a very weird uh, eyeball hat kind of thing that was always popular back in the 80s. That's right. If you're from the 80s, you know. Um, moving on, moving on, we'll do, uh, actually here's another one, a little picture of my dad and me when I actually had muscle, <laughs> so to speak, um, that was Christmas, good times, uh, let's move on to a couple of evil pictures of, uh, well, I guess me, I'll put that in there, the hell with it, there I am with my buff body on a slip and slide, yes, back in the day we went outside, people, we, <laughs> We ran across a giant thing of wet plastic and just flew off into the grass. Fun times. Uh, we didn't have really cool... Actually, we did have cool shows back then, so I really can't say we didn't have cool stuff to sit and watch. But when it was a nice sunny day out, that's what we did. We went out and went insane. Um, as you can see, there's an, an old picture of me dressed in Spider-Man. You can see the uh, comic gene hit me early. Uh, I'm moving on to evil pictures of myself. There I am playing some t-ball. That's right, I was athletic back in the day. Soccer champion, damn right, people. Here's a photo of uh, me in my full snow gear. And yes, that is a lot of snow. Back in the day, snow was huge. Nowadays, snow blows. That's interesting. Uh, yes, gotta love my phrases. But nowadays, because of global warming, which sucks ass, you never really get a full snowstorm like you ba did back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, man, when it snowed, it snowed. You had to dig yourself out of your own house. Um, but moving on. Here I am in a lovely body cast, which my family, if they're watching this, remembers that horrible, lovely thing. I broke my femur, which everyone claims is the hardest bone to break. And lucky me, I broke it. And I'm going to tell you one thing. That hurt like a bitch. If you've ever had a broken bone, that is one thing you know how painful it is. But if you ever have a broken femur and you survive that lovely pain, God bless you. Um, they actually stuck a, they had to stick a metal pin through my kneecap. That was pleasant. Uh, moving on. <laughs> uh, here is a photo, we're gonna do a little bit of a then and now. It's a photo of my cousin Nancy and myself. That's right, I'm looking dabber in my, I guess it would be a tux, something like that. I had some kind of obsession with a red bow tie like Pee Wee Herman or uh, Problem child, I don't know, couldn't really tell, but um, you can see. And there is a picture of my cousin and I in a newer version, our older selves. <laughs> but moving on, moving on. Here's uh, when I was a kid, I still am a fan. And Michael Bay, I swear to God, if you screw it up like you've already done. <sighs> there I am with my Ninja Turtle uh, shirt and Michelangelo at a, at a party. A ceramic party back in the day that was another cool thing to do with ceramics um why do i look pissed probably in this photo you can kind of tell i look a little eh. that is because when i was a little kid Raphael was my turtle 
Uh, not Michelangelo. No offense to Michelangelo. He did kick ass, but Raphael was a badass, and I always loved the weapon, the Psy weapon, so sorry. There I am again with the Ninja Turtle uh, stuff and a standing back at Adventureland back in the day when it was cool. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, let's see. Another reason the comic gene, like I said, I'm always into comic stuff. A couple things, me and Superman, the Wax Factory. Very cool. Uh, I figured I'd just show that off because uh, it's not a bad photo. Moving on. Uh, another little picture of, of my uh, my animals. Well, this is not really entirely back in the day, but 2006. The uh, top one is my black cat buttons, and the bottom one technically isn't really entirely my cat, but that was Rocky. Uh, belonged to my uh, fiance, and I kind of took care of him from time to time. Long story, we're not getting into that though. Uh, very cool cats. Yes. Eee, I'm breaking things. Moving on, moving on. Some friends. Uh, as you can see, there I am, but in the middle, that is the smiling guy right there is my friend Vinny. Uh, very cool guy. He uh, always has a positive attitude. God bless him. Um, he loves his movies. If you, if you know Vinny, you know the man loves his movies. Um, that was actually at the, the premiere of, of Transformers. I can't remember if it was the first one or the second one. I believe it was the first one. Um, yes, it was the first one. Uh, but anyway, Vinny is a cool guy, funny guy. Um, he also is, I guess, co-creator, I guess would be the, the term, for uh, Eternal Lion with uh, my friend Jake. They came up with the studio. It's a movie studio. Uh, they're currently uh, getting ready to make their movie Espionage which looks very, very cool. Uh, if you on YouTube, check out Eternal Lion on there. It's, it's got a, it's a cool little um, little channel. Uh, they also have their website, eternallion.com. That's right, Jake, Benny, promoted for you. All right, even on a family thing, I have no shame. But um, they do have cool stuff. Uh, Jake is actually a really good director and, and, and actor in there. He does com some cool stuff, like I said on uh, a previous episode. Um, they do good work. Benny, he, he knows his stuff. He does know his martial arts and... Uh, He's not as good as I am, but, um, <laughs> or actually I was, let's put it that way. I'm a retired martial artist. I don't, I don't really go crazy with it anymore, but moving on. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't show my entire family on this thing. Like I said, that would take forever, but, um, I wanted to let them know that, that, that I, um, I care. And if I ever become famous, this is the video that proves you exist, that I'm related to you. So if, um, I guess if you ever need to borrow money from me or something like that, and, and I say, no, I don't know who you are. And then you can be like, oh, yeah, here's the video. But uh, it's blackmail. Um, moving on, moving on. Like I said, uh, my whole family, I'm very proud of them. Uh, another little backstory: story. My, my Uncle Joe and my, my Aunt B, they used to own a tire company that my entire family basically worked at one way or another or in, in one form or another. Um, I technically didn't really work there because I, I really wasn't old enough to technically work and get paid. Um and I wasn't old enough to drive back then, uh, but I did supervise a lot. I supervised the, uh, the the tire changes and everything else, so I guess I technically did help out, I guess would be the um, the, the term. And it's funny because uh, my aunt, uh, I believe my aunt, my uncle, and my family actually kept uh, aspirin companies in business because they always had these giant bottles of aspirin because the noise was such a bitch in that place. You would go deaf. You Everyone would be like, hey, what's going on? You go outside, what are you doing? You can talk lower now. All right, gotcha. Um, like I said, very proud of my family, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not entirely as close as I used to be with my family, because, you know, you know how it is, you, you move, uh, family, you know, grows and, 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 and changes so much that, you know, I mean, hell, I have, I have so many cousins, and I don't even really, uh, know as well as I know my, my older cousins, obviously. I'd love to get to know my newer cousins, so hopefully that will still come around, because there's still time, I'm alive, they're alive, so there's always... Uh, a chance to change and and then and, and try to fix things stuff like that um my family and i we're not we're not it's not like we don't talk to each other it's just that we're always so busy so i don't want everyone to look at this thing and say oh my god what did he do that he doesn't family doesn't want to talk to him anymore it's not that it's not that at all um at least i don't think i did anything i mean i know they didn't do anything but um that's just the way it is it's just you know we used to be like this and then just the, because of time and stuff like that we're kind of like that uh, we do try to keep in touch Unfortunately, like most families, the only time you actually get together with family is, is usually on a funeral. Uh, that's, I mean, it, it sucks that it's a funeral, but as much as I get depressed the fact that if I go to a family funeral, it's, I don't know if it would be 
technically morbid that I'm, I'm just happy to see everyone together, even though it's on an evil occasion, not evil, but a, a sad occasion. So, um, I guess I'm twisted like that, but, um, anyway, anyway, I hope my family, like I said, does not want to kick my ass or, and like I said, I haven't gone to all my friends like that, but, uh, you know, you all know who you are. Uh, anyway, anyway, so I hope you enjoy this lovely little trip down my memory lane a little bit, and maybe I'll do other stuff in future episodes, like I said, if they don't kick my ass for some of this stuff. And, um, like I said, very, very proud of my family. Uh, another one, my Uncle Jimmy was a, a police officer in, in the city. That's a rough job, so I'm proud of him. He, you know, he made it. Uh, he's retired now. Very cool, thank God. Um, I can get into so much stuff, but this would be one hell of an episode. It would probably take me, like... <laughs> Again, like my comic collection, dozens and dozens and dozens of parts. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to leave you with a couple images of my, my Uncle Kenny's uh, albums and uh, his, his song, like I said. You can listen to some of it. Um, it's not the whole song, but you can go on Amazon. You can find it if you want to look. You can even find it on YouTube. Just type in Kenny Dino and there's actually a whole thing on him. Very impressive. So uh, I leave you with his song and, and thanks for uh, you know watching. Like I said, I hope my family's watching this and is as proud as, of me as I am of them, you know, hopefully I'll become extremely famous like my uncle, uh, working on it, working on it, got the talent in here somewhere, but, you know, maybe it's the face that doesn't always work, but anyway, enjoy, and I will see you on the next episode.